Standing behind me is Long Island's version of The One. This new construction project is one of the most eye-grabbing homes that we have out on Long Island in the market today. This is a two-story Mediterranean-style home that looks straight out of Lake Como, Italy. Let's wait no longer and come on inside. So we're actually standing on a double lot right now and it actually puts you just under two acres in total property size. So given the zoning laws out here in Long Island and Suffolk County in particular, you are able to have horses on this property, more than one. You're actually minutes away from the Connect Quad State Park, which has use for equestrian. So if you were looking to house horses out here, but you don't wanna go out to the Hamptons and go spend that 13, 14 million for this type of property, you can do it in Suffolk County still. So we're gonna take you on inside, give you the tour. And you notice the exterior of this building is stucco built along with the cultured stone. Really something that you don't see too often. A lot of expense goes into it. So builders don't like to go ahead and throw that amazing quality right in there off the top. This helm, you're gonna find there's no shortage of quality. Come on inside. You're right off the grand entry here, guys. You're greeted by 10 and a half foot ceilings here. Massive on the height. And I know the first thing you see is the great room behind me. I'm gonna show you the main spaces first, the formal living spaces so you can go through your beds, your baths, your great room. And just over to the right, which we're gonna see next, is the elevator that takes you from the basement all the way up to the second floor. First, I'm gonna enter the great room here. Right down your rolling staircase, you enter your party room. This is gonna be where you hold your Gatsby parties, 35 foot ceilings. I know that you all know I'm not this short, but this room really cuts me down to size, I'll tell you that one. But the one thing that you're gonna notice with all great rooms like this, heavy duty center fireplace here, this is your massive gathering hall, really gonna set the tone when this room comes together and is completed fully. Now, above me on those ceilings, massive chandelier light fixture. It almost feels like I'm in a church. I feel like I'm in St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York because I've been in homes where you have two stories. We go up to usually 20, 25 feet. These are 35 foot. This is the highest that the local fire department ladders go. This is beyond heights and beyond space in the interior that I've ever seen. Just behind us, this is above your entry, you actually have the center loft. And I imagine that's where uh, Gatsby himself holds the glass over. And you go ahead and toast from there. It's the most quality thing about this room is you can actually tie in the second floor to the first floor and everyone can join the party here. Now this stone fireplace, again, this is full chimney out, reaches up to the second floor here. It's a commercial style chimney up top, so you're really able to get the ventilation that you need. You can top this off with blue stone. Now keep in mind, a lot of what we're going through here, it's up to the buyer, how they wanna finish this build. To completely finish this home off and give it the final CFO that you would need for the certification, could be as low as $300,000, could be as high as you want it to be. So the asking price on this one is just under $2.5 million. And if you want the horse space, if you want the elevator, if you want this type of 10,000 square foot home, that's a great price, but you're gonna have to choose how you wanna finish it, keep your numbers where you want them to be. Right off of the great room, Alex, standing behind you, will take you into what's going to be your kitchen. And now a ton of space here. And one thing I want you to notice, because you'll notice we're looking at a ton of beams here, a ton of joists. The actual thing is there are only about five beams in this house in its entirety that are two by four. Everything else is two by six on the whip. They're extra wide. And that's because homes like this, the material on the roof, the material in the joist, it's a bit heavier. So there's nothing wrong with more weight, but you're gonna need that extra support, which this builder does provide you with. Here being that we're in the kitchen now, this is where you would go ahead and throw potentially your sinks, your appliances, run them along here by the windows. You do also have exterior entrance right over here to the side leading you to the backyard and then what most people would do is just throw like their cafe table with a quick dining table right in this area here where you kind of have this little balloon style cutout with your sunrise and sunset views coming in for your small quick on-the-go meals just out the outside of the kitchen here powder room this is where you would go ahead and throw a small powder room or a bathroom as we say it in nassau county but what you're gonna have here, a little bit of space for a sink, toilet bowl, something nice and quick. You could just wash up before you would go have your dinner, whether that was going to be at your cafe style table or your very own formal dining room, which is just off to my left here. Come on in, Alex. And again, you're gonna be greeted by lots of light. This is not just because we don't have the ceilings filled in or the walls. These windows provide you with a ton of light and the angle themselves where you're western facing on the window side. So you're getting a lot of sun, especially at this time of day. We're filming this at one o'clock on the dot. So you get a lot of light here naturally. And this is where you would go ahead and put your formal table, 
where you can have a table of 12 easily in this section here. And this would also lead you out into your main hallway here that takes you back out to the great room. So just off your formal dining room here, you're getting this little hallway. This is gonna take you to two places an exterior entrance on the side of the house that'll lead you towards your garage. And then you have a downstairs access to the basement, your first access to the basement down here. We'll get to that, but first I'm gonna take you in through this side. Now this room off to the side here, up to you how you wanted to do this, but you do have a light sitting area here. This is right off of your entryway. Your front door is right over there, just in front of me. So you have a good amount of light coming in here. It's a bit separated from the main body of the house. So depending on what you do, if you have office work you like to do in the house, if you have a nursery you need to put here, or if you want to make this just a little bit of a smaller bedroom, the ability and the flex to do whatever you'd really like with it. Okay, so we'll come across the main entry again. Front door just to my left. So you got right behind me, just your elevator. This is taking you from the basement all the way to the second story. If you're not an elevator type person, you got your staircase right here. Now this one doesn't go down to the basement. It takes from first floor up to the second. Before we get that far, I'm gonna play back on this side. So just past your staircase here, another flex room, okay? Up to you really, if you want to make this sort of a library or a little reading nook, depending on what kind of office work you may have. Tons of natural light, they're separate from the main entrance and the main body of living space. So it's a quieter, softer style of reading area. So whatever you'd like to do, you have the heighted ceilings are right about 10 feet in this room. So if you want to go ahead and throw some tall bookshelves in here, throw some ladders in, really design it. We have some really great interior designers as well that could do a great job for you on Long Island. You have the space, you have the height, do whatever you like in this room. All right, so we'll pull back out. Now moving across, a full bath. Follow me on in. This is where you're gonna throw your shower here. Now you've got tons of space for a full shower. The ceilings in this one, these go up guys. These are above 10 feet on the ceiling. So you could really throw a massive shower head up top. You could throw an infinity shower head whatever you were looking to do. Massive space for a jacuzzi, or if you want to throw in the shower here, glass it in and close it, you could do that too. Toilet, plumbing on that side, sink, and you finish it off yourself here. So right off of your elevator, you have the reason you purchase homes like this, an all-star, master suite, formal primary bedroom. Come on inside. Now you're equipped with square footage, ceiling height, and a little bit of flexibility here. So this is the formal primary bedroom space. You've got tons of room for your cabinets, for your dressers, for your night tables, your huge bed that you're gonna, of course, put it right here. Now, over to my right, this is where you're gonna be walking into your office, your study room. If you want to go ahead and throw a little reading nook in here, some of your office supplies, nice, quiet, detached from the main personal space of the bedroom. And you do, again, have some lighting coming right in. Ceiling height on this is about 12 feet, and you have plenty of lighting to come in here, even via the electric. Across from me on the other side, this is where you're gonna walk into your primary bathroom ensuite. Come on inside. Before we get to the bathroom section, this is going to be your massive walk-in closet where you're going to throw your cabinetry, you're gonna be putting your suits in here, your dresses, whoever gets this bedroom. So what you have, plenty of space here, your center island where you're gonna throw your watches, your belts, your jewelry, and any extra money you have laying around. It's gonna go right here in your massive granite or marble island. Plenty of room to light it up as well with your custom lighting that you're gonna put in just over to the other side. This is where you walk into your full ensuite bathroom, okay? You're getting a three piece in here where you're gonna put your toilet. You got a massive oversized shower. We're gonna put your rainfall waterhead. You're gonna go ahead and throw a jacuzzi in here if you'd like, however you'd like to do it. But since you've got such heighted ceilings here, that's where you're gonna put your overhead faucet for the shower. This is a beautiful, massive space. You could see I could fit about seven whole people in this thing. So the lighting coming off the side as well. And Again, we'll walk out of here. We're gonna take you out of the primary suite now. We're gonna take you around to the rec room. So this is a separate room. We're gonna come around where we're going back through the great room here. So this is the last room on the first floor before we jump up to the second. Now, your rec room coming in up here. Electrical outlet, your box. Now, this room in here, just gonna be mainly some closet space that leads you into the rec room where you have the ability to go ahead and do a lot of things. Pool table foosball table. If you wanted to throw a little bar in here, you go ahead and throw a wet bar just off to this side. You do have plumbing behind on the other side. And a ton of light, guys. This could be where you take your guests out of the main body living space, bring them in here for a little bit of a separate, more casual entertainment space. If you don't have as many people into your backyard where you have just under, again, two acres of land here. Double lot. Over to this side. This is where you're going to be running into your recreational bathrooms. You have the plumbing in here. You could go ahead and set up 
Honestly, I would mainly just make this a one. Go ahead and throw your toilet here, your sink here. Keep it on the small side so you can really maximize the space. You put a shower in here, it's gonna really encroach and feel a little bit tighter. Probably wouldn't wanna do that. And I think we're ready to hit the second floor. So right off of the sewing room here, You've got some flex and you've got some views. This room is actually pretty stunning. So here's what you have here. This could be done as sort of a home gymnasium. Ali, it's on the second floor. So if you want to do like a yoga room where you have equipment here that could be a powder room or even a sauna, you have your connections right into here. They actually give you a decent amount of natural light. And of course you have just enough space here. You can keep it a tight powder room or you can go ahead Throw the sauna there, if you did. You have light that pours in on this side where you can do your morning yoga, do a morning lift over in this section. There's so much light in here, it's like, why would we even have bulbs? And then pass me uh, through here, you have an exit way to the balcony in the backyard. Now this isn't finished yet, but if you wanted to, of course, go ahead and make this walkable with the installments that you would need, the reinforcements so you can hold the weight up there and throw a nice balcony that overlooks your two acres of land. But not only that, Juliet Balcony is overlooking your great room here. so coming right out of the second floor ceiling, you're able to look down at the party that's going on down there. You're able to, you know, if you're in a rush, throw the things, he ho it over the ledge, give it to the kids, give it to the partner so you can get out the door quick. You have access to that great room from here on the second floor on this one. And on your second balcony right here, it's a little bit of the larger one. So it's one of the more inclusive rooms in this house because you can actually access the downstairs from the upstairs. And uh, just above you, Alex, we do have this room ceiling height of about 13 to 15 ranging because the roof does peak and cave with the balloons on top. But you do have a little bit of a lookout tower over here where you could actually see if you wanted kids to come up here, you could take a peek, throw a telescope up on this second floor here, this little loft, really up to you, but it's just a small getaway space, a little hideout for the kids on the second floor. Now I'll take you around to the other side. And we're crossing over now, this is the side of the house i just love this because you're able to see both sides the masterfully heighted ceilings and again you're throwing that top notch chandelier right in front of yourself over there so it's going to be beautiful to see what the buyer does and just so you guys know when the buyer does finish this house we're going to be coming back here doing a second tour and a follow-up to see the finished product of it now what we did talk about was the plans for a master bedroom this is going to be a guest bedroom Number one, if you come on inside, you do have pretty expansive space along with an ensuite bathroom just over to my left here. With your lighting, with room for a full three piece, you could throw a shower in here. You've got your toilet space, you've got your sink space right behind me on this side and tons of natural light pouring in. This is guest bedroom number one. On the other side here is your closet, okay? So it's again, pretty massive, but this enclosure right here is going to be your closet. We'll walk around through the hallway. Guys, okay, so we're headed to guest bedroom number two. And some of you are looking at me like, why? You could make one of these an actual primary suite up here if you did want it to be on the second floor. I'd preferably throw it in the one we just saw because this one does have a Juliet balcony. So it's kind of inclusive to the great room that we did see like on the other side. So up to you. If you wanted a bit more privacy, I'd say throw it in the one we just saw. But if you're open to kind of including a balcony view in the primary, you could do it. So on this side, walking through the primary, or this, let's just call it the guest for now, like we were saying, you've got your closet space, okay? And attached to that on the other side is where your ensuite bathroom is going to stay. We'll take a peek at that. This one, same size exactly as the one we just saw. You've got your electrical box there for your lights. You've got your shower. Height on these ceilings, just under 10 feet. If you wanted to, rainfall shower head right above us. And you've got your toilet, your sinks, and your exit way. And we'll take you, I mean, that's really the encompassing of the entire second floor here. You've done first story, you've done second story, the basement, which I like to call and refer to as the ultimate doomsday bunker that you've never seen. But you've got room for all of your helicopter equipment, got room for your wine cellar if you wanted one. We're gonna show you everything. All right, come on down. Alex, take the elevator. Okay, let's come on down into our basement just off of the side of the grand entry of the formal entry. You walk on inside the staircase here. This is heavy duty reinforced this home. So all the studs, the beams I'm out here in the basement, these are the only two by fours that you're gonna find. Again, everything is two by six. So tons of support for the weight that this house does give. So it's allowing you to put the materials that you want. That's why they go a bit wider and a bit thicker. So we're down in the basement here, and this is where you can let your creativity flow because you've got the space to do whatever you like. Now, of course, you're seeing exposed foundation. It almost looks like we're in Kanye West's house, the one in Malibu where it's got all of the safes and everything. 
And of course you think Doomsday Bunker, you think what can I put? Your elevator exit is right to the center of the back here. This is where you would come down. And it's also going to be, I guess we'll start there because that's where you're gonna see a lot of your electrical and your circuits and your breakers here that are running the entire house. Blank canvas, let your mind run. If you wanted to throw in home theater, if you wanted pool table, if you wanted a wet bar down here, just a spot to chill and hang out, you've got all the space to run with it. Just off to your left, that's like a little closet space. Then you have an actual exterior exit into your backyard. It's gonna be leading you to a walkout staircase. That's going to be the door for it. As far as finishing off a bathroom down here, you throw that bad boy right in here. All right, so past these beams here, this is obviously we're gonna keep your laundry, your washer, your dryer, you've got your hookups all set right here. Tiny bit of light coming in from this walkout entrance. That's when you're from the outside, it leads to window view of that. And if you were to throw a bathroom down here, all right, keep it in this area of your main right here. It's easy to hook everything up. And uh, you'd put it in this general vicinity wall up on this side, or just a door. That's again where we saw our electrical down on that side. So really the creativity, it's in your boat guys, what you wanna do with a house like this. But what brings this project to the forefront of the market is the sheer size and the style itself, the Mediterranean red roofs and the stucco with the cultured stone. You have such an amazingly sized blank canvas. Let the creativity flow and really see. But for the price of 2.49 million, this is what gets you the ultimate canvas to paint your own painting on and finish it the way you'd like. So if you guys have questions, this is the perfect time to get in touch with us. We have the relationships out here with this builder, with other builders. We've given tours of this property and other style properties like this. So we have the ability to get you in and run the numbers for you, run the cost, the building, the engineering, so you can see exactly what needs to go into this if it's something you're interested in. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, let us know in the comment section what you would put in this basement, what you would throw in the great room, and what you would do with this property if you have any ideas for it. And also, we will see you in the next video.